to the show cash kids cash show Bo here leading you on this manic monday a fantastic august 6th and we have a special story for you guys all today you probably even saw this on the news a story from greenville south carolina today now a family believed that their beloved pit bull named ratchet passed away falling in following an accident involving their neighbor but in fact just this past week, Ratchet was found in another town nearly 70 miles away. And having been missing for almost a whole year, the dog had cut and dyed his hair and had been living under the pseudonym Clyde Bukowski, laying low and earning money as a dishwasher at a local Waffle House. Rat Ratchet, a.k.a. Bukowski, will be returning to his original family but has declined to comment. Further, speaking of comments, we've got some comments for you all. Shout outs to Robin Osborne and the rest of the school teachers who enjoyed their first day back of school today. Way to go. And then shout out to Whitney Moser and her four year old lovely daughter, Eve, who play Cash Show every night. Have a good one tonight, to you, ladies. And are you new? Stay around. Even if you get knocked out, we've got after our final round, if you're feeling lucky, Stay tuned for the Lucky Spend, where you can win a prize to help you earn even more money here on the Cash Show. That's it. That's all. Let's Monday, y'all. On with the show, and away we go. Starting the fun with question one. What kind of footwear is needed to get traction while running on a soccer field? Slides, stilts, cleats. Okay, Brooke Fletch, please shout me out. We got you. That's a very, that's a lot of capitals. <laughs> Often considered an Americanism, the term soccer, it did actually originate in England from Association Football. Association was shortened to SOC, SOC, and then plus ER was added to end. That gives us soccer, and I hope you brought your cleats. Cleats have been used in soccer for a surprisingly long amount of time. The first written documentation comes from 1526 when football boots were an item listed in the wardrobe of King Henry five, six, seven, eight, the eight. Question two, coming at you. An invertebrate is an animal lacking what? Hair or fur, claws, backbone. Now including insects, crabs, worms, spiders, octopi, clam, clams, many more, the majority of animals on Earth are invertebrates, with an estimated 97% of species lacking a vertebral com column, which is also known as we know the answer that we're looking for, the backbone. Now the earliest known animal fossils are those of invertebrates, with 665 million year old fossils of prehistoric sponges found in Australia. The first vertebrates appeared about 525 million years ago in the Cambrian explosion. Question three, give me what kind of light is invisible to a human's naked eye? Incandescent, infrared, fluorescent. Now a kind of electromagnetic radiation with wavelengths longer than those of visible light 
little more than half of the energy from the sun that arrives here on Earth is actually in the form of, you guessed it, infrared, just beyond red. Or the visible spectrum of light infrared is from the Latin word infra, meaning below or underneath. Again with the Latin. I mean, I'm just starting to think that maybe we should just, just change our language to Latin and just be done with it. All right? Question four. Give me some more. What tire company produces a guide to the world's finest restaurants, Michelin, Bridgestone, Goodyear? Now, there's an interesting reason why this happened. To increase demand for cars, and more importantly, tires, in the early 1900s, a guide was published by the answer that we're looking for, none other than Michelin. It was in 1900, there were fewer than 3,000 total cars on the roads in France. The tire company Michelin, or Michelin, created a guide to the best hotels and later restaurants to increase interest in driving in the country. How cool is that? All right, question five. I do hope you're staying alive. What tools are pictured in the image that symbolizes communism? Mortar and pestle, hammer and sickle, rake and shovel, or sonic noise. In 1917, it was Vladimir Lenin himself who held a competition to design a Soviet emblem. The winning design featured our answer, the hammer, hammer and the sickle. Now, the design originally also featured a sword, but Lenin, ironically enough, removed it because he didn't like the violent connotations. Now, for all that stayed alive, one through five, come with me and we'll see our prize questions. Remember how this works. Each question is worth an amount of money. That's divided by the people that get it right. If it's a penny or less, it's rolled over to the next question. Question six is worth $160. Let's do it. In what shape is baseball's home plate? Triangle, diamond, pentagon. While all the bases are simple squares, baseball's home plate is not a simple square. It gets to be a very special shape, a special shape indeed. It gets to be a special irregular Pentagon. The plate was, was in fact a boring square for much of baseball's history up until 1900 when the National League changed it to its present shape. Why? Doesn't matter. Who cares? Question seven. <laughs> Question seven is coming at you in, in musical theory. Which key contains neither sharps nor flats? A, B, C major. Do not make any major mistakes. Ask your friend if you don't know. There are two musical keys that have no corresponding black notes. One is A minor and the other C major. 10.7% of songs on Spotify are in the key of G major, which just has one sharp, narrowly beating C major to the honor of the most used key. Interesting fact. Question eight, don't be late. In what city? does Netflix's reboot series Queer Eye take place? New York City, New Orleans, Atlanta. The original show that many people remember aired 2003 to 2007 on the Bravo series. It was filmed in the New York area. Netflix's 2017 reboot takes place around the city my sister Brie lives in, ATL, Atlanta. The makeover show features the Fab Five, five gay men who inspire positive change in the lives of others. The original aired 100 episodes over five seasons. The reboot recently released its second season in June. Question nine comes just in time for the 5,717. Still with us, stay in the game. Even if you get kicked out, we have Lucky Spin coming. In 1837, riots broke out in New York City in reaction to the rising price of what? Sugar. Flour, water. Now in this, 40 people were arrested and almost 200 officers were added to the police force in response to the riot over our answer, what? Flour. Yes, after the price of flour doubled to nearly $300 in today's money per barrel, thousands gathered in Manhattan to protest and destroyed around 600 barrels of flour in the process. A little ironic if you ask me. Question 10. In 2016, what U.S. state produced the most coal? Montana, Wyoming, Kentucky. Now, out of the 25 states that still produce coal, 
more than 40% is produced in the answer that we're looking for. And I'm, I'm guessing most of the people in the state of Wyoming knew this one. That's right. Now, the coal industry has been slowing in recent years with production in 2016 down 37%. That's a lot since 2006. At its height in 1923, there were around 883,000 coal miners in the U.S. compared to just around 50,000 today. Question 11. This one is worth $450. We have just less than 3,000 still with us in the game competing for the final prize. What character was on the front of the first edition cover of the wonderful Wizard of Oz, Dorothy Tin Woodman, Cowardly Lion? Illustrated by W.W. Dinslow, only 10,000 first edition copies were released in 1900 with a cover featuring only the Cowardly Lion. That's right. Did you get that, KCLG8? Oh, so nice to hear about your home state, South Carolina. And good news, was that good? He did try to get away. <laughs> All right. Now, we have 1,661 cash kids on their way. Some may even be one question away from their very first win ever. Now, without further ado, let's move on to our last and final round. <sighs> Don't be nervous, you can do this. Just hit the right answer, all right? This one is worth $1,626. You got this. Question 12. Which territory has conquered by no enemy in Latin on the coat of arms in its war legend? French Guiana, Gibraltar, Guam. Though considered a British overseas territory, Spain has made consistent claim to the land as well who has repeatedly refused Spain's request to unite, what country was it? Gibraltar. All right, did you unite to make your first win on the cash show? Are you a serial winner? Well, let's see who's sponsoring my cinnamon toast crunch and check out how everybody did on the cash show. We've got 1,522 winners with us today. This is our prize distribution. It shows how much each one of the questions was worth divided by everyone that got it right. Thank you, Dawn Ben from Virginia, saying hi to me, playing from Chesapeake. That's nice. And then we've got uh, Reno, Nevada, Tommy C, also in the house, and Kayla Cruz from Jupiter, Florida. Hope you guys did well tonight. Is your name on the list? A friend, a family member? Do you know somebody up there? I'm saying hey ho to Sunset 2020, 2209, and also Vinny 785. And then we've got Kylie doing their win tonight. If this was your first win, and especially if you have a video of it, send it to me. But don't go anywhere. Yinny, let's hit that lucky spin. You can get a skip card, power prize. That doubles your winnings. Even without getting to question 12, you can get an extra life so that you can get one wrong and still continue. A wrong gone, that's a good one. That makes you a 50-50 guess taking out one of the wrong answers. If you got one of these rare ones, a skip card of the power prize, hit me up on Twitter. I'll congratulate you myself. Those are good ones. That's it. That's all. I hope that you had a ball, and it's time to celebrate. You know what? Since it's Monday, I'm going to do it. That was a fun one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember, use that lucky spin or you'll be sorrow by then. You've only got 24 hours. This is Cash Show Bo signing off, saying see you Tuesday. Mm, that's a good day. Bye.